I was a teacher, I have retired, but during my teaching career in about 2005 I started having symptoms of uh, a shuffling gait, leaning forward, um, cramped handwriting, and I correct a lot of papers, and it would, it would stop me from doing that. And when I would pick up my class at the yard, I would have to walk them down a um, downhill slope towards my classroom. And my classroom was right beyond the playground, and so I would keep my eye on my door, and I would shuffle on down to the door. And the faster I got faster and faster, and I knew I couldn't stop myself till I got to the door, so I would grab the handle when I got there and then let the class in. When I taught during the day, it was hard for me to stand up straight. My back would start aching, so I had a high seat with a back on it that I could lean up against and teach school with and, and sit on it and read stories to the kids so it wouldn't be so bad. And um, this gait and shuffling went on for approximately uh, six months. And um, I'm also a performer and I directed a group and I was on stage and I was singing. And um, I would, ha if I had to use the shuffling gait, I incorporated it into my character because I was Sister Mary, Mary Superior. And so um, it worked out fine that way. But I knew something was wrong. So I went to my doctor and she gave me the MRI and she had me tested for everything else and checked me physically. And after she checked everything and saw the way I was walking, she put me on Levodopa. And that immediately helped me within 12 hours to stand erect again, to walk properly again. And um, there was minimal shaking at that point in time. And, um, and I felt great for about four to five years. And on the fifth to sixth year, the Parkinson's shaking started to kick in more. And um, that's when I knew I needed more help. And I'm having a knee replacement on the left knee, so that has had three surgeries by accident, but now I'm getting a, a fourth surgery that's going to reconnect my kneecap because it came detached. But um, that's the case history I've had since 2005, and it's now 2011. Tap, tap, tap. See? When she tap, taps, uh-huh. Yeah, it starts up again. Right leg moves slower, is it because of the left leg being so swollen? No, it's starting Which one stiffens up, the right leg? Okay. And I have the left one supporting the left leg. One more and then turn around. Okay, go ahead and turn around. Yeah, I don't want you to walk too much because you've got the injured knee. Just stand, don't do anything. We'll just do a little quick test here. Open. Bite down. Tap, tap, tap. You can see how she's wobbling. Yeah. Open. Bite, tap, tap. There it is. They take a deep breath and straighten up. How does your stability feel with it in? Better. Okay. All right, let's go back into the room. Just go all 
percolated here. Now, what have you felt as far as improvements in your walking and your balance? Um, I'm standing up straighter and I'm going far, farther. Um, I'm closer to the front of the walker than I've ever been before. Usually I'm like this, bent over. But now I feel the strength more so I can actually um, extend my leg and balance on the left knee. And it's a much better walking pattern that I have and it's not painful to my back. It's a lot less painful. Good. So you're noticing your strength being better too? Oh yeah. I'm stronger for it, yeah. Okay, good. get in the suburban that we have. In my area. <laughs> there you go. The difference. Um, I'm able to lift myself with this knee and push myself in now. He doesn't have to lift me up by both legs to put me in. Big difference there. Good. Because that was I was feeling weaker and weaker where I couldn't do it not on my own. So was it a slow period where you were starting to feel weaker and weaker or was it over time? Before I came in here, you know, to see you, and, and I, I was trying to lift myself up with, wait, he pushes against my left knee so it stays straight, my husband does, and, and then I, I push, push this on the step guide, up to sit in the Suburban, and the last few, uh, couple of weeks, I wasn't able to do that, and my strength is returning. When I'm putting my makeup on in the morning, I don't shake. <laughs> Good. So I was holding the mirror before it used to be this, and trying to get my makeup on, and I was trembling. And I was doing it this morning. I thought, this is a lot easier. I went, oh, I'm not shaking. I'm not trembling to do that. And I said, that made a big difference, you know. Well, I feel I'm getting stronger. Uh, the tremors are a lot less. Um, I'm walking straighter. And um, um, the balance is, balance, my balance is better. And, um, I'm not having the rigidity in the right leg like I used to when I walked, and um, I'm, uh, the sentiment that I'm taking for uh, the Parkinson's is less. Uh, I take it about every seven hours now instead of every four. Um, when I get hungry, I start to shake, and, and that even having the mouthpiece in, that means I, my hypoglycemia is working in there, so I eat and it goes away. Um, or when I get nervous or something like that, it starts to shake, which is normal for me. Okay. But the tremors are a lot less than what they were before, so. Okay. It's been three months. Tell us how you're doing. Well, I seem to be doing a lot better. As you can tell, I'm hardly having tremors at all. Um, I'm able to stand up straighter each time. I'm not fully straight yet. I'm sure my knee operation would help have me standing and walking better, but um, um, my balance is okay so far. Um, my Parkinson's doctor said I would probably get out of balance and to be careful of that, and so I've been watching for that and it hasn't been happening. Um, I, um, I'm riding better. When I, when I have to ride, it doesn't get so cramped. If it does get cramped, I make sure that I take a breath and, sn and tap three times to see if it helps it at all. Um, my head and shoulders um, pain, I'm not having that. Through the neck and through the shoulders, it's not half as painful as it used to be. And I'm able to hold my neck more erect. Um, turning the neck, even lifting it up and looking at the ceiling, something that was painful for me to do before and it's not so much now. 